What happens when a small sleeping city suddenly wakes up? Every state elected official has to take an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution. Back the blue! 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 Make sure that your rights are safe and secure, fighting so that your kids can go to school, fighting so that you can go to church, and fighting so that you can hopefully one day eventually walk back into that assembly meeting and again turn on your open for business sign. Article 1, Section 6, it says the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition their government shall never be abridged. Is it being abridged right now? Yes! What is going outside? going on outside right now, a legal assembly, or is it actually a riot? He has 44-72-31. It said public meetings of the Assembly School Board Commission shall be open to the public. Are they open? No. That the freedom of speech, every person may be free to speak. Are you free to speak in there? No. Or is it actually a riot? So I started it uh, with my friend, um, really just to practice what we preached to our kids, uh, to take a stand, and had no idea that it would grow. Here today at the library, the assembly and the mayor are not listening to the people. They're not representing what the people of Anchorage are actually saying. They're trying to push through these things right now that don't even have anything to do with coronavirus, or they're doing it with their own special interests in mind, or, you know, they're doing things the, the people gave over 25 hours of negative testimony towards this homeless housing bill and yet it's still on the table. Forcing people into poverty is just as bad as them getting sick with an illness. If you live paycheck to paycheck, if you don't have wealth accrued sitting in a fund that you can live off of for months, uh, you're being forgotten. You're being told that um, just, just stay home and we'll take care of you. One of the more recent mandates says no more than 15 people on their premises. And that violates part of, our part of my religion, Christianity, because God calls us in Hebrews 10.25 to not neglect gathering of yourselves together. I take an oath as a state senator to uphold and defend the Constitution, and I see the constitutional rights being treaded upon right now. And as elected officials, we swear an oath to the Constitution, that means to uphold Hold, and sometimes you got to step in the gap and defend the people's rights. So I'm here to defend the people's rights. We'll make sure that they hold every elected official, whether it's the mayor, whether it's the governor, whether it's your assembly, your school board member, your state uh, house, your state senator, hold them accountable. Read this constitution. Read the Declaration of Independence, why we broke away from George, King George III. Read the uh, United States Constitution and the Constitution of the State of Alaska. Know your rights so they're not tread upon. I would tell them that all of life is a risk and it is my job to determine my risk that I'm willing to take for my life not theirs they are overreaching um, it says right in the Constitution of both the country and of the state that we have the well the state specifically says that we have the right to enjoy the rewards of our own industry and you know is Andy Kreiner being given that right right now no he's not he's being denied that right Right. Um, and the pursuit of happiness. Are we allowed to go take our kids to soccer right now and enjoy, have a happy life? Um, you know, go to weddings and go to funerals and all that makes us human. And they are taking that from us. So that's definitely an overreach. Are you being heard? No. Are they listening to you? No. Well, let me tell you, I am, and there are others that are too. All Alaskans, not a Republican, not a Democrat. These, these guaranteed constitutional rights are for all Alaskans. We had to take a stand, so here we are. I don't even live in Anchorage, but this is my hometown, and I'm here to support my friends and family. And this new mandate violates our religion. So this new mandate essentially violates the very first amendment to the Constitution, which is crucial to the foundation of America, and I believe that is very wrong.